How would you like your Spider-Man, sir? Extra thick. What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the DStar01 channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffles, and today we'll be looking at the Mafex Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Peter B. Parker, a.k.a. the adult Spider-Man that's in the movie. We're going to look at paint detail, articulation and scale, and accessories. If you're looking to pick this guy up, you can go to www.dstartoys.com. We're going to some awesome action figures. We're going to open it up. And let's see how it is. Let's go to the top cam. Ready to took the tape off the top. And let's look at the box real quick. I have to say, the box looks really nice. There you go. But you don't come here for the box. You come here for the figure. I haven't really heard much about this figure. I haven't really looked up many reviews. I know this has been released for quite some time. But I'm going to see how it is. So far, from what I can tell, he looks really cool. And he has soft goods and everything like that. Now let's go to the front cam. Let's look at the detail right here. First things first, let's look at the face. That's always what I want to look at first, the face. And I have to say, this Peter B. Peter B. Parker is absolutely fantastic. Now let, let me show you why. As you can see, the paint is really good. Uh, you can see the 5 o'clock shadow coming in. It looks like they did a really nice airbrushing job on the face right there. It looks really solid. The face looks really well structured as it does in the movie. The hair is really nicely sculpted as well as you can see the, um, the definition in the hair right there and in his haircut. And the eyes also are really, really nice. I have to say, this is easily one of the best Peter B. Parkers that I've seen. We have the Marvel Legends one. I'm going to show you it in just a bit. Let's continue on with the details. Let's look at the coat here. So this is a soft goods coat. It looks like there is a wire right here so you can get it to do all kinds of things. As you can see as I'm squishing it right here and moving it around, you can get it to do all kinds of things. Is there more wires in here? Yes, there's more wires. There's even a wire at the bottom part of his coat, which is really nice. So they don't just give you a plain coat, they actually give you a wired coat so you could pose it as well. Let's look at the Spider-Man suit. There's something I also have to tell you while looking at this overall. It has a really nice matte finish. As you can see, the light shining off, it looks really solid and it looks really good, especially as we segue on to the spider suit. It looks really nice. As you can see right here, the spider suit has details. It feels textured. It isn't just a flat surface it is actually textured which is really nice and really well painted you can see the spider-man insignia right there and everything else is textured as well on the red parts um is he super thick not as thick as i thought he would be hmm but you know what i i think it's fine <laughs> uh let's look at the legs here we are looking at the soft goods on the legs which are just pretty much um pajama pants that we're looking at here uh looks like the leg has fallen off already and luckily it's not that big of a deal it looks like it just went off the ball joint here which we will try to pop back on hopefully that isn't too much of an issue and it looks like it popped on really nicely looks like it rattled around during shipment which these are imported you these are not uh, really distributed locally hence the high price um, anyway looking at the goods again uh, let's look at the shoes and we have one boot here and the sneaker right there. So overall, I have to say this is a really nice looking Peter B. Parker. I love the fact that we get a wired coat. Also, by the way, the collar is also wired, which is really cool as well. So some people might have preferred a plastic coat, but you know what? I don't mind the soft goods. I think it looks good. I like the fact that it's wired and you can do all kinds of stuff with it. So let's see how he compares with the Marvel Legends Peter B. Parker. And most importantly, let's look at the face sculpts. So here are the face sculpts right here. Here's the Mafex. Here is the Marvel Legends. I like the way the Mafex one just looks better, looks cleaner. Looks like they did a lot of nice paintwork with the face. There's nothing wrong with the Marvel Legends, though. So if you like the Marvel Legends one, I'm not, I'm not hating you. <laughs> it looks really good as well. But I think this one looks more like the movie 
in comparison to this one. Doesn't look too much like the movie. In fact, I'm starting to think that his face is a little too thin, and this one looks much better. But you know what? The price point is much different. You're looking at a $20 figure versus a $100 figure shipped. Yikes. So there you go. It better look better for the price. So there you go. Speaking of comparisons, let's move on to articulation and scale. I've got my ruler here. Let's see how tall this guy is standing. This guy is standing about almost six and a half inches tall. And of course, we've got to compare again with Marvel Legends Peter B. Parker. Let's see if we can get Peter B. Parker to stand. Uh, let's see here. Let's do a quick standoff right here. It looks like the Marvel Legends one is just a hair bit taller. So let's move on. We have the Mafex Miles. So with these two together look really good as they should. Okay, because they're from the same line, same movie, and whatnot. Let's move on to my custom. Figma Winter Bakugo, which we will look at eventually, one day. Uh, but I, I need to get all the clips together. But anyway, here you go. If you're wondering how he looks with Figmas, there you have it. There he is with Winter Bakugo. And if you're looking at other Marvel Legends, here is the movie Deadpool. And last but not least, we've got to get a Goku. SH Figure Arts Goku, right? Oh, I'm sorry. This is not SH Figure Arts Goku. This is a demoniacal fit Goku. Here is a figure arts Goku. So let's go over articulation to my surprise. Well, actually, I'm starting to think most Mafex don't have a toe joint, but this does not have a toe joint right there, but we do have an up and down here at the ankle. We have a double joint knee right there, ball joint at the leg, as I said before, which comes off fairly, fairly easy on mine. Just got to keep popping that back in. Uh, we do have a double jointed midsection or two joints in the midsection one here and one there so we can get some awesome ab crunches and we have a butterfly joint right there which is really really nice which also has a do we have bicep civil yes we do bicep civil right there so it's really nice double jointed elbow right here ball and peg at the wrist right there and of course we have two at the neck looking to be well above 20 points of articulation let's see if we can get this guy to pose do some spider-man poses Power right there. Can you do a superhero landing? You know what? I'm just going to take off these sweatpants. These these just need to go. They need to go. Everyone, please stand by. Okay. Here we have it. There's Peter B. without the sweatpants so we can see him pose. Boom, right there. You can do front kicks, flying knees, side kicks, Spider-Man in the air, poses like that. Uh, let's see what else can we do. Of course, we have to have the superhero landing pose. So he looks really cool. Has to be kind of like this. Bam, and he's got a look at the camera. Boom, there you have it. So he's really well articulated as most Figmas are. Or sorry, not Figma, Mafexes, my bad. Mafexes are, they should be super articulated and really well detailed. Also, while we're at it, let's look at the legs here. These are also texturized just like the entire suit, which looks really cool. Let's move on to accessories. Let's go to Top Cam. Let's see what we're dealing with here. We have a ton of accessories. For the price, it's always welcome that we have so much accessories. We have bare feet, Spider-Man feet, the Spider-Man legs with feet. I think these are magnetized feet, and we get so many hands. We've got four, eight, 12, 16 hands, a pizza slice with a mug, a, a mask halfway off or partly off, uh, mostly off, uh, sorry. And we have a mass face, two mass faces right there, and we get a stand, I believe, and a manual. So, oh yeah, and let, let's not forget, he comes with a, a uh, mask that is crumpled up so we can hold it. And let's look here at the manual. I rarely look at the manuals on, on video here. Pretty excited about this one. Now I get to post him with miles so it comes with a manual that's black and white so it shows you how to put on all the stuff we know how to do this already so this is pretty self-explanatory now let's go to the front cam and let's put let's outfit him to be the proper spider-man so we're gonna move remove his coat and uh, yeah it's on my desk so you can hear that they do stick really nicely we will look at these probably at the end of the video hopefully in the showcase we can show off him standing on some metal spots on my desk 
let's outfit the face here. So this is how he looks like. Pop this in. Okay, there you have it. There's Peter B. Parker right there. Mask almost off. Serious face. Let's get him in his true Spider-Man face right here. And this requires you to remove the neck. And just pull this right off. And there we go. Let's see if this pops right on. And there you have it. That is Spider-Man. Boom. Look at this. <laughs> uh, this one needs to really pop in. Hold on one second. Okay. There you have it. There is Spider-Man. Boom. Thick Spider-Man. Looking really good. Uh, let's see the other face. What is the difference? Okay, so the difference here is we get the squinty eyes. Let's look at that real quick. And there you have it. Squinty eyes, Spider-Man. Looking really solid. Uh, let's take out this pizza slice right there. And there he is with his mug. And let's see if we can put this in. Ooh, gosh, that is a tight fit. Let's see if I have to mess with this. There you have it. There he is with the mug. I think the last couple of things we want to look at are his feet and the mask. We'll look at the hands and stuff at the showcase. So let's go back to the front cam. There is the mask right there. So he can hold that. I think he even has a hand. And then we have the bare feet right here. And let's pull these off. Ooh, these look really cool. <clears throat> wow, everything is extremely tight. Uh, there you have it. There he is with his bare feet. But personally, I got to have my Spider-Man feet. All right, uh, everyone, give me a second. We'll stand this guy up, and then we will come up with a conclusion of the Peter B. Parker Spider-Man from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. All right, here we are, fully outfitted. Uh, we'll look at the hands, and also he comes with webs uh, at the showcase of this video. Let me just show you everything that you get here. This is pretty much a complete package Spider-Man Spider Peter B. Parker. Let's come with the conclusion. Is this worth it? Yeah, absolutely. This is pretty much one of my favorite Spider-Man figures so far. Just because he comes with so much. He comes with a really good face sculpt. He comes with the soft goods, which are all which are wired, especially the coat. I love that. We got magnetized feet and hands. Uh, we get the food with the pizza, the coffee mug. I mean, what else can you ask for? If you're a fan of the Spider-Verse into the Spider-Verse. Peter B. Parker, then this one is the best one. But let's talk about a negative here. This figure is really expensive. This is for the premium collector out there. Um, if you're looking to buy something for 20 bucks, then yeah, the Marvel Legends one is the way to go. It's cheaper. It looks good. Um, but if you want the best one, I have to say, especially if you already have the Mafex Miles, you just got to get the um, Mafex Peter B. Parker. Anyway, guys, that's my assessment of this figure. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when I post new videos. And last but not least, you can always go to www.dstartos.com for all the awesome action figures. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.
Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Where? Right here, not there, right here. You. And thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here, right there, right here. Yeah.